Oh my gosh, that was actually pretty good for you. Okay, girls, we're out of here. Poppy, that was bad. Come on, back in. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What do you do? Sit. No jump. Thank you. Come on, sit. Not only is it like 20 some degrees out and incredibly cold, but that was just unbearable, wasn't it girls? You two were on a whole nother level. We didn't even like, I have two routes that I like to take. We couldn't even go one full of either because I had to keep turning around and turning around and turning around and turning around because they were just like, Ugh, and I wanted to try something new this morning and I regret it. I regret it. We'll talk about it in a second. Let me feed these dogs. I have done a lot of training with Poppy. For a while there, it was like every single meal she would do training. And she's so good with her basic things, sit, shake, kisses, um, even wait, that's her stay. She's so good with that. And she's great off leash. Like we've done a lot of training just in the backyard doing stuff like that. She's so good off leash. And if we're walking in the house, she knows exactly how to walk. She knows exactly where she's supposed to be. But the second we get outside specifically with fancy, she's like, all bets are off. Like I, I did not listen to you. I don't listen to anybody. And she just goes a little crazy. And it's hard because for so long I was walking the girls separately which was fine, but I would love to be able to walk them together. Like I would love to be able to do that. And I wanted to get in this routine with the girls where I wake up and walk them before they eat because I'm just very much in the routine of like, okay, whenever it's nicest in the day, that's when we go out. So it's not a set time, but I would love to be a little bit more structured. So this morning I was like, you know what? We're gonna start the routine. We're gonna do it first thing in the morning. And they were next level. Like I honestly don't think they have ever been that bad before. It was unreal. Now I'm starting my morning a little frustrated and this is not what I wanted this video to be, but this is just kind of reality of my day right now. My plan for today's YouTube video was just me like very much so having the mindset of what is going to make today the best day. And maybe this was a good way for me to start it because I get to like refocus, recenter what is going to make today the best day. When I took my break in January of 2022 and I, didn't I wasn't creating content I was obviously doing other work but I wasn't creating content I very much so had that mindset of like okay well what do you want to do today like what do you want to get done what would make you feel good and I had so much time so much flexibility I was juicing I was working out I was reading I was like really just like doing so many good things for myself because I felt like I had so much more time in my day and I've kind of lost that mindset along the way and when I decided to refocus my YouTube channel yet again this year, I want all my videos now to fall on the theme of me creating my best life, as in eating my puffins. Can I take a bite here? So today, I feel like it would be a really good challenge for me to just very much so have the mindset of like what is going to make today the best day possible, as well as just like a very well-rounded day for me. Like I want to accomplish work stuff. I want to accomplish personal stuff. And I just also want to live my life and like make sure that I'm really enjoying it. Like how can I create the best structure for myself? And like one of my goals this year is to be more intentional with my time. And am I really being more intentional with my time? And I just, I don't know, I kind of want to like evaluate what I'm doing today and like really, really think through the day. And I wanted to bring you guys along. So here you are. I'm eating my puffins. Best way to start the day in my opinion. next thing I want to do is not a part of my normal daily routine, but maybe it can be like a weekly thing that I do. Like it's a Saturday morning. I feel like I could do this every Saturday morning. It just depends how I'm feeling. Um, I'm going to go to a coffee shop and I'm going to read my freaking book. About two weeks ago, I was working in a coffee shop and there was this girl there and she sat there for probably two hours just reading and I was like, wow, 
that must be so nice. And it's like, Catherine, you work for yourself, you could do this too. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to the coffee shop, I'm gonna have a matcha, and I'm gonna read my freaking book. In case you're curious, this is what I'm reading right now. This is actually part of the podcast. We are doing a quarterly book club. I like did not know what I was trying to say there. So this is this quarter's book. If you guys wanna read it with us and then we'll do like a full review slash talk through it in one of the episodes, the very first episode happening in April. Let me grab my bag and we're off. You girlies be good. I'm sure you're just gonna sleep, huh? I love you girls. I do, I swear I do. Would it really be a Saturday if I wasn't at some home improvement store? I swear like I don't really need anything. I just wanna look at something. <laughs> if this was Home Depot, I wouldn't know exactly where I was going. Lowe's is not my first choice in terms of these stores, but it was closest. I don't know where I should be. Wait. So what I'm looking for is peel and stick floor tiles for the bathroom that's like in the hallway that, well, the main bathroom that I've been using right now. The floor, I keep telling my dad that I wanna replace and he keeps saying, Catherine, I'm not gonna help you replace it. You gotta pay someone to take it out and it's gonna be a pain in the butt to take out. And then it hit me. In my past two homes, I've used peel and stick tile to cover up a really ugly tile and it looks so real. Why the F am I not doing that? So do we like, oh my God, this is so heavy. Just a dark gray? I wasn't planning on buying anything today, but now that I see something like this, this might be it. I don't know how much I need, that's kind of the problem. Also just talking to myself here and a guy walked by and totally saw. What I think I do is go home, measure it out, come back and buy this. Cause I don't want to buy a whole box, like 45p. <laughs> I don't think it's 45 square feet. I know it's not 45 square feet. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Sweet. What we're all gonna do, wow, that's very low, is ignore how dirty this floor is. But we need to measure this baby out. Okay. This is a little bit less than three feet. So let me just like measure this one box of a room and then we'll move the other. And this is a little bit less than five feet. So to calculate square footage, don't you multiply. So let's just do four times five, so 20. Is that how you do this? This one's a little bit weird because the toilet and stuff. So this is five feet and then three. Poppy's coming in. Hi, little legs. <laughs> how are you doing this? How are you? Huh? How are you doing? How to calculate square feet. So if a bedroom is 12 by 20 feet, it's 12 to the bed. Okay, so I did it right. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I'm pretty darn sure. I should have some buffer. Was one of those boxes 45, right? Let's go back to Lowe's. There you go. If this was like truly a typical day, I'd be doing computer work by now, but honestly, like my main work task that I wanted to get done was this vlog right here. And I might do a little bit of work this afternoon because like, as you guys saw, I like to start my work days after 10. And then I've shared on my Instagram stories that this year I'm trying to have specifically my computer work because there is far other work that I do outside of being on my computer, like vlogging and anything to do with Instagram. But computer work, I just want, everything done by four o'clock. So that's a six hour work day for me, computer wise. So before we do hop on my computer, what do you guys think about this freaking tile? I understand this is a gray looking tile. However, in person, it is like navy. <laughs> it very much so has blue tones to it and it does not go with my black vanity. My thought, is to do it kind of diamond-like instead of square 
like instead of flat on like this when you enter, I'm thinking diamond just to like draw your eye in a little bit more. We'll see. Now that I see this tile on top of this tile, honestly, they kind of look a little bit similar. This seems to pull more warm tones on camera, but just like, no, it does have a blue hint to it. And it's, it does not work with the black here where this, that works, that looks great. So I do think I'm gonna move forward with the diamond pattern. I think this is cool. Plus it will be incredibly easy for me to do because the floor tile already has these perfectly straight lines. So I'm just gonna go off one of those straight lines, match it up with that. Actually, you know, it would be easier if I just did them square because then I could align it, hmm. But I think this is gonna be cooler. Totally think it's gonna be cooler. So one of the things to note with peel and stick tile, if you guys have never used this before, is that there's just a few repeating patterns within a box. So this, this, that, all the exact same. This one, this one the same. This one, this one the same. This, like all three of these actually are the exact same. So you need to kind of plan out the floor and what tile is going to come next, as well as make sure the positioning is different. So like this positioning and this positioning are the exact same compared to this and this is different. You want it to seem at least like that's the way I like it. I don't want it to be totally uniform. Like I think that would look ridiculous. I'm excited for this. This is an incredibly cheap solution to this floor and it, kind of inspires me to actually finish this bathroom because like this door right here, I just never painted and this door is still missing. I might do this this week. I feel like that would be nice and I can easily turn it into a reel or something. I'm really trying to figure out the separation between my real content and my YouTube content and I feel like this project would make for a really great reel and then I can post it on my YouTube as well so you guys like get the house updates, but I am kind of not feeling like doing this right now because for one, I need to vacuum and then scrub this floor to make sure it's totally clean. Two, I need to take off the baseboard. So these baseboards, for one, dirty, but you can see that they're pretty thick. So these are not the original baseboards that came with the house. The previous owners must have put this tile in. I'm guessing there was carpet in here before. Like, I feel like just because the other bathroom had carpet, feel like this one did. And when they put in this tile, they put in nicer, thicker baseboards, which love. But what they didn't do is actually nail this into the wall here. So the one that's actually behind this door, you can totally just take off. Like <laughs> there's no adhesive, there's nothing. The only one that I think might be adhered with like liquid nails or something is that one right there. It's the only one that actually looks, well, you know what, now that I look at it, this one looks pretty good too. And this one actually has caulking, like nowhere else did they do caulking or anything to finish these out. So I'm gonna take off the ones that I can and then have the floor tile go underneath so it looks the best. And then I'm gonna put these back on and actually nail them in and do the caulking and everything else to like make them perfect. But that just seems like far too much of a project right now. And the more I think about it, I really should do some computer work today. So let me get some work done. So I shared the reel of my business journey. I wanted to share the reel of my personal journey and I'm like finally getting through your questions. I just successfully spent 45 minutes on my Instagram stories. A question box that I added nine days ago, uh, I finally went back to, cause my plan was to create a reel and then it turned into a Q and A. <laughs> and now here we are. And then I was just like looking at my YouTube channel. I just needed inspiration. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I went on this whole entire rant, like why I'm just like not inspired by YouTube recently and how I've been watching zero creators. Like I just like have not seen anything of interest for me to watch. And I understand this is me. This is not other creators. This is totally me. So I decided to look back at my own YouTube channel videos I've created, just like taking a look at views and thumbnails and titles and like what was I liking what was I drawn to were the views better on some videos that I was drawn to compared to like other ones like what was I shocked with and really there wasn't a lot that I was shocked with it's just like I haven't taken a look at my channel like that in a long time and it's something that I really recommend that you guys do just go like don't go into the creator studio, go to your actual YouTube channel, look at your videos and just scroll down and see what the heck is happening there. Like do all your thumbnails look the exact same? What are the views like and how have the views transformed over the years? Because 
it's interesting how the views I'm getting on my videos now, it's exactly the same as before when I uploaded totally different content. Now, if you really take a look at my YouTube channel, you're gonna be like, no, Catherine, that's not accurate. But when I upload a YouTube video, on average, even before I changed my content, it was between 10 and 15,000 views from my own audience when it initially went live. All of my old content is extremely searchable. So the views that you see it has now, that's not because of my audience. That's because of it ranking and searching, getting views that way. So it may look like my channel is less successful than it was before, but in fact, it's not. It's literally the exact same level of successful, but my, in my mind, it's more successful because I'm happier <laughs> and I'm landing bigger brand deals and stuff. Like to me, the freaking like win on, win on, win on, win on, win. But the reason why I'm bringing this up kind of goes back to my mindset of think less and post more because sometimes when you go to your YouTube channel and you sort by most popular and you're like, these are the videos that my audience wants, that's not necessarily accurate. Those may just be videos that rank really well in search and yeah, they're getting you a lot of views and like they're potentially making you a lot of money. Like my one video that has 3 million views, I think has made me over $30,000 at this point. But at the end of the day, like, is that what your audience really, really wants? And there's one creator that I follow that she'll randomly go on her Instagram stories and is like, I'm gonna create another one of these videos because it's your guys' favorite. And it's hilarious because whenever she posts this type of video, the views are like one third of what her normal videos do. Now, those videos rank really well in search. And yeah, they're some of her top performing videos because they rank well in search and she will ultimately end up getting a lot of views because of it. But I just think it's fascinating how your mindset and like the, the way you look at things is like so incredibly important. I do think it is important, especially if you're trying to grow on YouTube, have searchable content. And if you can have a mix of searchable content and content that's just for your audience, great. If you can find a way that crosses both of them though, poof, game over for your YouTube channel. And that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out how can I do that within my own channel? Like how can I create content that you guys are interested in, but that is also really, really searchable and that can help me to grow? Cause for a while there, I like totally stopped trying to grow at all. I stopped using tags. I wasn't like thinking about the algorithm like at all. Like I was doing no keyword research. I just like did not give an F. I was like, stop growing, stop growing, please stop growing. Like I just, I could not go through that phase anymore. It beat me down and I was like, please stop. And now I'm at the point where it's like, okay, I like the content that I'm creating and I wanna draw in the right audience. Like the problem was I was drawing in the wrong audience and like it was the right audience for my content, but for me personally, as a human being, I did draw on a lot of people that just like did not give an F about me and were ruthless and I can't stand it. I'm a sensey girl, okay? That's not for me, that's not my life. On my list of things that I wanted to do yesterday was brainstorm content. So I figured today after talking about Instagram stories, I was like, let's be a little bit productive. Let's actually like look at my channel. Let's try to brainstorm content. Did it help me to brainstorm content? No. <sighs> I don't know, I think I just need to stop overthinking it. I really do think I need to stop overthinking it. And I'm kind of just wasting time here by overthinking it. So it's like, Catherine, is this helping you to create the best day possible? Kind of, yes. I feel like I've actually had a really great day and it's 2.51. Like, I've gotten a decent bit done so far. And I don't really know, like, what else do I really, really want to get done today. I did do some other stuff before I wasted time on my Instagram stories. Okay, I did get some other stuff done. It's just like, what do I want to do now? I uh, put up my hair in a very ridiculous way and yeah, I ended up sitting in my office doing more work. You know, I just like, was like, oh, I need to post a reel today. I need to post a reel today. And there was a reel that I forgot to upload as a short. So I just did both of those things. And now, I'm about to run some errands. I didn't think that I had any errands to run today, and then the more I thought about it, I was like, nope, I really want to go to Trader Joe's. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in such an incredibly long time 
mainly because of my allergies and stuff. I found it really, really hard to shop there. I feel like Trader Joe's used to be a relatively healthy place and now it's just become extremely specific specialty food like flavors and stuff like when it's pumpkin season like I can't even walk in Trader Joe's because I'm like everything is just pumpkin and it's unbearable to me but I really want cauliflower gnocchi and I have not had cauliflower gnocchi in my fridge I think the whole entire time that I've lived here so I'm gonna go there specifically for that and see what else I find I am totally abandoning my morning you know what with the girls it's now like almost 60 degrees outside and this is when I would prefer to take them so I think I just like in my mind I was like well if I start and I do it every single morning then I'm like perfectly aligned for summer because in the summer like I can't take of them in the middle of the day or the afternoon like it has to be evening or morning because it's it's too hot but I think I just need to have a different mindset of like, okay, in the winter, this is when we go. And in the summer, this is when we go. That's all it is. Because I know like my attitude, if I went right now, would be so much better. Like I would have more patience and I'd be willing to work with them where this morning I was just frustrated and I let myself get frustrated. But I ended up getting myself some sourdough. I am actually back on gluten. Fun fact, if you have been paying attention to my health journey, still avoiding milk. I did not even check the ingredients in this. I just trusted it. Okay, we're good. Whew, thank goodness, okay. I am still not doing any dairy, um, any soy, limiting sugar, but like I still have some sugar, but yeah, gluten eggs I go incorporate back in my diet. I got this almond butter granola. I, for some reason I was at Publix yesterday and I found this almond milk yogurt, which I've had before, but I saw it and I was like, that would be really good with the blueberries that I already have in the fridge. And then I saw this and I was like, I used to actually get this all the time when I ate real yogurt, but cauliflower gnocchi. I got two of these, so we'll find another one in here. Watermelon chunks. I can never buy a whole watermelon, and it sounded good. It'll do. Cherry tomatoes. Just needed them. Minced garlic, because I am far too lazy to actually mince my own garlic. Everything but the bagel seasoning. Needed it. I have been out for so incredibly long. More cauliflower gnocchi. More cauliflower gnocchi. I actually got three bags. I was wrong. I ended up getting some green juice. You guys have only juiced once in this house. I like told myself I was gonna get back to it, but it's just too many dishes to wash and I already hate washing my dishes and I just don't wanna add more to it because it's like six, seven different pieces every time you juice, it's too much. Pizza sauce, and then I got two of the salsa verde salsa. I thoroughly enjoy this and I like cooking meat in it as well, like cooking chicken in this, fantastic. And that's my haul. It may only be 4.48, but I am going to make myself dinner right now. I've come to realize that one of the reasons why I just despise making dinner is the fact that it's dark out and it makes me feel like I should be in my chill zone, not in a I'm actually doing something zone. Like I don't mind making lunch. I'm more likely to make lunch than I am dinner, which I feel like is opposite for a lot of people. Like I'd rather just eat leftovers or something for dinner. And I think it's because of the sun. Could also be the fact that I just like don't enjoy cooking all that much. But I am actually gonna make myself some food. This is just a classic childhood meal to me. My mom, I feel like this was just like her lazy dinner. But it's just mac and cheese and sausage. And my sister still makes this, but she'll make homemade mac and cheese, which like is superior. But growing up, we just used to have craft mac and cheese. And I'm telling you, I understand it's disgusting, the powdered, like whatever. I loved it. That was one of my favorite things in college when the cafeteria was closed, I needed to make something myself. I would go down to the kitchen, I would make myself mac and cheese and it was my absolute favorite. And obviously I haven't had it in a while. For one, like it just contains like a whole bunch of bad things. But for two, dairy free. This is an amazing, amazing dupe for craft mac and cheese though. 
I also do understand that there's no vegetable on my plate and there probably should be, but you know, it's fine. Why have I never made this before? The girls are now eating and it's about time for us to chill out. I feel like this is when I usually kind of shut off for the night or I try to. It's like dinner time for them is my cut off of like, okay, you need to chill out for the night and just enjoy some downtime. So I have been on a Disney movie kick recently watching Disney movies that I haven't seen in a while. So like the other night I watched Ratatouille. I had not seen it in years and I honestly kind of forgot like the exact ending of it. And then last night I watched The Little Mermaid, but like the old Little Mermaid, like I think the one that came out in the eighties or something. I could not even tell you the plot of that movie before yesterday. Like, had no idea what the heck happened at all. And I was totally shocked by the fact that, like, she gave up her voice. I was like, you gave up your voice? Like, I did not remember anything. So I'm debating what Disney movie I want to watch tonight. Like, is there another one that I haven't seen ever or seen in a while that I should watch? We'll decide. I've also been debating for like a few days if I wanted to start a new puzzle and I just haven't done it. So I think maybe I'll start a puzzle today. I have truly had the best day. Like having this mindset of like what's going to make today awesome. I have had just fancy. That's not yours. Fancy. I have just had the best day. And I'm, I'm like so happy right now. I feel like I'm ending it on a high. Fancy. Fancy. Come here. Come here. You can't be eating your sister's food. Come here. Poppy's currently like knocking around her ball and knocking out food and she sometimes misses pieces. And then this little tail right here will wander around stealing whatever pieces she can find, which is just not good because you already ate years. Anyway, I'm gonna call it quits on this vlog. Bye.